Hey guys, what's up? It's the Emperor Bro here. Alright, so the good news is we're going to continue RPG Maker. The bad news is I could not retrieve any backup data because it, I don't know, um, I might be able to recover it tomorrow or something. I really don't know how this is going to work, but you know what? That doesn't mean we can't continue. Alright, so in this episode, I will be working more on jump scares and like where to put jump scares. And also, some fun little, little, little things, you know, things. Alright, um, right now we have a mirror here. Oh, okay, hold on, let's, let's work on a jump scare. So we have a, let's say that this window is closed, and you want to be able to open it. What you actually want to do is make an event like right here. You want to open the window and maybe have something like jump out at you, or something similar to that, which I'm just going to get a monster, um, or like a, a scary face from Google or something for the jump scare. Uh, what am I doing? Alright, I need to go to task at B. We need to have this one right here. Copy event page, paste it, and go to this one. The one right next to it. And make a switch. Um, my switches are all reset because I don't have them anymore. Name it open. Again, you know, that doesn't mean what we has to have, you know, all the maps back. Even though it would be nice, I can still continue this tutorial and teach you guys all you need to know about stuff. By the way, um... I might be doing a Q&A soon. It's been requested. A lot. <laughs> so I might, I might do that. Alright, so now, um... We're, when you talk to this one... Uh, okay, make this one right here the same as characters. The priority. The bottom one, yeah. Uh, the top one doesn't really... Actually, you know what? Let's do that. Same as characters. And... Make that below character. It doesn't matter. Hmm. So now what we're going to do is we're going to turn... Actually, we're going to go to event 2. We're going to go play sound effect. We're going to do... We're going to look for something. Obviously not that. Oh my gosh. Wait. This could do it. Yeah, I guess that'll be fine. Uh, it sounds like it's opening. And then you would do conditional branch, or not conditional branch, I'm sorry guys. Uh, control switches, and we're gonna do open is on. Now what this will do is it'll allow this, it'll allow both of these to open. Now I'm gonna set my character to starting position here. And we're gonna, we're gonna show you how that looks. And bang, the window opens. Uh, if you want to make it dark outside, you're going to have to kind of change the tile set. And, uh, what we're going to do now is I'll be right back because i got to get a picture. Alright guys, so I have a little thing. I kind of found like a little orange thing from Google and I modified it a lot. To make it look like a scary thingy. So, what we're going to do now, um, wait, what? What am I doing? What am I doing? So we're going to go back to this event and right after it makes it open, we're going to do that scream screen here yeah <laughs> that'd be fine right there <laughs> and then it goes show picture no matter or poodles yes <laughs> I named a poodle because poodles are amazing Do it. Cool. So now we know. Okay, that's kind of cool. Now we're gonna do uh, fade picture. Or yeah, move. I'm sorry, move picture rather. Zero in a frame of twelve. So it's like really fast, and you like you get like a subliminal message like what the crap just happened. All right, so let's test that out. By the way, guys. Um. Just leave in the comments if there's any specific thing that you would like to learn about a horror game. Like when it comes to something scary, just leave in the comments like whatever it is that you would like to learn. Now, we did have ghosts and sprites and all that before and I, I, no, I no longer have them. But it should be okay. I'm gonna have 
Wait, I'm gonna copy the map first. Copy and paste. You know, the dark world kind of thing. Um, I also no longer have my shadowing, but that's okay. I mean, we can just... It, it'd be fine. I'm gonna go to the dark world now. and yeah. Okay, we're gonna have... Let's actually have a couple of knights chase you around. I mean, you are in a mansion. I mean, what mansion doesn't have knights, right? Right? All mansions have knights. I don't know what I'm saying. Or, you know, actually, a maid chasing you. A ghost maid! Change blending to normal. No, add. What am I saying? So if you go add. <laughs> Alright, um, let's do, let's do, uh, let's move around. Not turn at random. Not turn. Oh, move at random. Move, at, move twice at random. And then move towards player. Five times. Then we're gonna do speed normal. Er, yeah, actually, speed slower. And we're gonna do frequency the highest. Alrighty. And we're, you know how the rest of it goes. We're just gonna say if event. We're gonna change the trigger down here to event touch instead of action button. Game over. Oh, yeah, and uh, I need to set up a health thing. So I guess that's what I'm gonna do. I will be right back again. Actually, you know what? I can actually show you guys this. So here I am in GIMP. And, um,. Somebody told me how it worked, and it was involving, like, flower petals and stuff like that. Well, we can do the same thing. But, uh, like, you can do how you can do whatever you want. But for the sake of randomness, I'm gonna go with a pizza, believe it or not. Only because it's random. So what you wanna do is go to the top left corner and, like, make... Or actually, okay, wherever your map is not. Uh, in this case, our map was in the top left, but you can do this in the top right, you can do it whatever corner of the map you want. But yeah, again, for the sake of randomness, I'm going to do a pizza. So we're going to do, I'm just going to make a circle, and we're going to shrink by one, we're going to do feather by two, and I'm just going to kind of make, where is it, like a yellow, orangish kind of color. Kind of like a marinara sauce flavor. What flavor? I am not making any sense. Now what I'm going to do is I'm going to go to the pattern fill on the bucket. And I'm going to find something that's kind of mushy. Like, uh, okay, these clouds, for example. The sky. And then I'm going to do multiply. So now we have kind of like this little red moon looking thing, actually. It's kind of cool. It's kind of big to be your health, but, you know, you guys... I'm just kind of doing this so you guys can understand, like, how it works. Now, I'm going to copy the layer. I'm going to hide the hide this one. I'm going to take a chunk out of this one. Like a big triangle chunk. So I'm going to duplicate the hidden layer again. Move it up. So now we have a full thing again. Actually, duplicate this, like, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Make sure you have, like, eight copies. And, um... Just kind of hide each and every one of them temporarily until you can. And this is how you can know if you're getting the right size too of the pizza slice. <laughs> Sorry for my friend like in the background. Yeah, when it comes to cutting pizza, this is how you would do it definitely. I think all pizza companies should know how to do this. You should totally do it this way. Wait, what am I doing? I. Guys, I am so sorry. I'm a dork. Alright. You know what? We did that all wrong. So, hold on. We need to actually... Okay, this is much easier than, you, than what I originally thought. Oh, we already have that piece. Okay, you know what, guys? I did that all completely wrong. So, I'm um, delete every single layer except for the... Uh, first one or the second sorry guys that's so confusing I know so um here's our whole one and then here's the one we already sliced you want to duplicate the one you've sliced already and hide the other one I'm doing that completely wrong duplicate that hide the one we just sliced there we go that's much better Duplicate that. Hide the one we just sliced. 
See guys, I'm sorry for messing up. I'm Thawie. And oh, duplicate that. Hide the one we just sliced. It's probably completely wrong, but whatever. Duplicate that. Hide the one you just sliced. We're gonna have multiple images, that's how this is gonna work. And I just wanna have all the images prepared, and I'll show you guys an easy way to save them. Duplicate. Okay, delete, duplicate. Actually, no, we don't even need to duplicate anymore. So we have a total of six slices. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Actually, we have seven. I told you guys it was a seven. So, um, <laughs> now, oops. Okay, I already have it there. What you wanna do is show the whole one. Name it HP1. HP underscore one. Hide that one. Show the second layer. I'm gonna do this. HP two. My dog's scratching at my door, but she can wait. Actually, she's gonna claw a dang hole through it. Mother of God! Alrighty, guys, I'm back. So now, where was I? Which one do we save? We saved two. So this is three. You're gonna do export three. HP underscore three. And you're gonna well, you just pretty put uh, la, 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 la. pretty much repeat this until. Four. HP five. HP six. And we don't need the eighth one because the eighth one is the final slice. There. HP seven. Now what we're gonna do is we're gonna go to RPG Maker here. And I'm just gonna click OK on that event really quick. And I'm I'm actually going to see how this event works. Let me see uh, if it works right. Like if it um, instantly ghosts the figure. Yep. Cool. So there's our ghost. And... Actually, you know what? Yeah, okay, that's, that's fine. So what we're going to do, we're going to go to... Common Events. Trigger Parallel Process. And you're going to want to show a picture, make it number 50, just so it's out there, you know? And, um, make sure it's HP1. Now, you'll see how we're going to do this. And this is just a reference so I can copy and paste it later on. Um, what you want to do is go to control variables. Or not control variables. Well, you might as well just name it. Name, okay, name a variable HP. And now what you want to do, just get rid of that. That was just to name the variable. So what you're going to do is conditional branch, variable, I, should, I could have just named it here, I'm sorry guys, HP is equal to zero, cut that and paste it here, and get rid of the else thing by unchecking that box. So copy the HP equals zero thing, make, make sure there's like eight copies. So zero, now we're going to do if negative one. Or actually, if positive one doesn't matter, we're gonna go negative though. If variable is equal to negative one, it shows HP two. If negative two, it shows HP three. See the pattern? If negative three, just uh, conditional thing. Okay, conditional switch. Battle is on. All right. Um. If negative four. Oh wait, if negative I didn't even change this one. If negative three it shows picture four. If negative four it shows picture five. If negative five it shows oops. HP six. And if negative six shows HP seven. And then, if HP equals negative 7, it's, well, it erases the, uh, the picture. So we're going to do erase picture 50, and it calls a game over. So how we're going to do that is simple. Here we go, game over. Now, let's turn battle on automatically by doing a parallel process switch or uh, yeah switch battle is on 
Just make sure the parallel process is like somewhere where the events can't walk into. All right. Now we gonna test this. Out. There it is. Now our HP is there. But how do we subtract it? Simple, my friend. Event touch. We're gonna have play a sound effect. Hit maybe. Is there a hit sound? No, it's not. I guess we could do that sound for now. And then we're going to do control variables, HP, you're going to click sub, and then you're going to type 1. Wait. Now we're going to... Okay, here we go. <laughs> See, this 8 through our HP. Alright, so what you want to do after the HP minus 1 is... Set move route, you're gonna wait for 30 frames. <laughs> oh my gosh. Make sure it's set on this event. <laughs> you might not you might want to uncheck wait. Yeah, 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 you're gonna wanna uncheck wait. No, it stops your player. So it feels like the person actually grabbed you. Huh, actually what you wanna do is This is this is a good idea. Uncheck that. Or no, check it, keep it checked, and change the 30 to 15. And then make another one wait 15, but this time uncheck it. That way it'll give your character a chance to get away from her. <laughs> See, there we go. And there we go. And the HP will continue from wherever you are. So, um, that, that covers it for now. So thank you guys for watching, and I'll see you later.